Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Face of Might, Lieutenant Rakir, at your service. Wait. And I forgot something, so Wrong give me Albert. a second. Uh, and yep, yeah, welcome back to Doom Eternal. If they will let the mouse out for a second. And let's see... Da -da -da -da. There, co-hosts and stuff. Doom here and my God here. <laughs> And yeah, this is our <laughs> this is our sixth stream of the game, I believe. And yes, I have given in and bought the Ancient Gods Part Two, even though I have heard that it doesn't compare to the main campaign. Like I've I've heard that Ancient Gods One is good, but I'm presuming this is going to end on a cliffhanger of sorts, which is going to be resolved in here. So yeah. We'll have to see how that goes. If it is really bad, then I might drop it. But for, we're going to, at the absolute least, complete the main game. It's, it's not... I think some people expect some different ending. I wouldn't say it's bad, but there's many poor people love about the second part. Okay. Got a bunch of weapon points to still spend. Uh, we've gotten all of those. I guess you see but what part might have people feel a bit annoyed. Okay. But that's one thing I can guess people will dislike. Okay, get 75 precision head bolt headshot kills for headshot blast, will, and which adds a, which adds an explosion to it. Uh, there. And there, and that adds Power Surge. After triggering a fully charged Heat Blast, Plasma Projectiles will have a damage boost for a short time. And we need to get double kills with the Heat Blast at least 30 times to unlock that. Okay, Lock On Burst already has this. We need to kill Prowlers with Lock On for this. Okay, for Dual Lock. I think we've already got... No, we've not gotten that one yet. Flaming Hook. The Meat Hook will set enemies on fire for a short time, causing them to drop armor from a Super Shotgun Blast. Okay. Kill 50 demons while using the Meat Hook. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's grab this one since... Actually, Destroyer Blade. Is there anything to charge it up faster? 20%. That is rather low, I'd say. With, especially with how long it takes and how slow we get when we do get moving. Uh, okay, begin charging in mid-air to minimize lockdown time. Combine this with Ice Bomb to lock targets down. Hmm. Still unsure about it. Let's grab that instead for this up upgrade. Anything here? And we've gotten both of those. Not really interested in the energy shield, and we can't upgrade the BFG. Okay. Holy! We actually survived that. Then the guy did fire way too early. Uh, let's see. We need to get over there. How do we get there? Hmm. Yep, last time we eliminated we eliminated the last of the hell priests. Can we go down there safely? No, we can't. And well, let's say that uh, the Sentinel people were not too happy about that, even though well they were the ones who basically surrendered or took control of the demons to use them as a power f uh, source, just like. Uh, a certain robotic jackass did. 
Uh, there. I think you misunderstood mm -hmm. something here. I think you forgot the, the civil war we read about. Yeah, the, they have been at war, but they were looking for ways to try and gain control of the demons, to use the, the Argent energy as a power source, uh, this, just like so Samuel. Not, the one, not that one. I meant the one where they realized uh, the, uh, the angels, for the quote angel, was working with the demons. One side joined the angels, and one side joined against them. And the separatists joined the angels. Oh, oh well, time for this one, team. It's the Archvel is a super heavy demon that can summon buffs demons. Okay, that's different from what they used to do. They used to revive demons. Deal enough damage before the Archvel finish, finishes summoning to falter it and cancel the summons. Okay, where is that fucker? There it is. Okay, I'm hoping they don't stay buffed. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I really, I don't like this buff demon stuff. This is way, makes them way more dangerous than they normally are, and way more aggressive. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It also doesn't help that they can stun lock us like that, which is one thing I've heard that they read that people really did not like about uh, Ancient Gods Part Two. Stun locking. Yeah. No one likes stun lock. I, I, I can accept lesser version of a stun lock on uh, when you use it on uh, NBC mobs and such. But it's not like I can see happen in AP and such. No. And you couldn't save this world from itself. But this time, Earth will be different. There's, there's actually a touchpad behind here. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think whenever an archroll pops up, we're just going to pull out the BFG and deal with it. And that's the first bonk for today. <laughs> oh, wait. We got the new, we got the archroll with the info. Out, right, yeah. Let's see. Let's take a look uh, if they have any info on weaknesses. There. Blood burns can instantly destroy its shield. Okay. Vulnerable while summoning, fall to them to instantly jib the incoming demons. Let's see. Forged from Hellfire, the Archvile is feared among lesser demons for its innate ability to channel and manipulate the unholy powers of hell magic. Descended from the eldest race of, uh, race of demons, the Archvile has long held a place within the ruling caste of highborn demonkind. Possessing superior intellect among the demon ranks, the Archvile's psychomancy powers make it a natural-born ruler of the savage and primitive beasts of hell. Capable of bending weak-willed underlings to serve its will. Okay. So basically, blood punch them whenever we get the chance. Now we yeah, need to get in there. Shoot them when they're trying to summon. Let's see, there's a battery over this way. Let me say this. It sounds easy, but then people forget. Oh, you need to find them first. Yeah, they're, they're basically mobile, uh, mobile buff totems. That is going to make them really annoying. There's a reason why in the original games they are, I believe, one of the most hated <laughs> enemies to fight. Okay, now how do we get down there?
Hmm. Damn good music, though. Okay, that is supposed to be broken, but how do you even get in there in the first place? There's a climbable wall a bit. That's just a straight up wall. Is there... Hmm. Okay, if this is supposed to be some sort of puzzle, then I don't think it belongs in this game like this. Like, the last bit we found was this touchpad behind here. Though I have no freaking idea what that did or it was supposed to do. There's a secret encounter there. And a coin behind the wing. Right, suits. Well, on the water, dashing is the only way to destroy breakables. Okay. That is why we got the suits. Yeah, that makes sense now. <laughs> I don't think swimming has ever been a thing in Doom games before, so... <laughs> yeah, that... Didn't really expect that. Yeah, I think you have waded through blood, but not actual swimming, I think. Okay. Right. Oh, that did something. Uh, let's see. Come on. Did that open things up? Doesn't look it. Okay. I'm... I think I'm just really not getting what we're supposed to be doing here. We broke whatever was there at the end. Oh, wait. Here we go. And there was more. Okay, coin. It is written that your hatred for the demons gave the people of Argentin more hope. As it does now. An empowered pinky? Yep. Wait, that was it? Yep. Uh, I expected more. I thought you were just a gargoyle. Let's see. Yeah, the empowered demons are really a mixed bag. Let's see. Okay. Here we have the Slayer, the Makers. Yep. Did not mean to click fully away. Let's see. With the coming of the Slayer, the Night Sentinels took the campaign deeper into the heartland of the demons than ever before. Ever before. Mightly Atlans were brought forth, tearing paths through the horse of hell alongside the Slayer and his army. The High Priests, and the guidance of the Mother God, had found means to gain entry to the innermost regions of the demon world, and with the Daeg's uh, presence, new gates could be opened. Our war machines were unstoppable, wrought with uh, maker technology, enhanced by the very essence our enemies hurled against us as our armies drove deeper and deeper into the blood-drenched territory of the demons. Countless victories were assured with the power of the Slayer, for with the Alpha, in Alpha Interfector at the fore of our pack, we brought certain doom to our foes. Alpha Interfector, okay. Uh, also something about the uh, Civil War, you could say. Uh, yeah, Doom Guy and the Night Sentinels were first were the first one be, to be betrayed by the priests, since well they got locked in hell by the assholes. Yeah. 
And though our hearts were pure and our purpose righteous, unbeknownst to the fighters of Argenta, in our wake and under the veil of secrecy, the Mother God had set her priests to build vast factories upon the heathen's land, that she might gather the essence for further development. How this deception began we would not know, for our focus remained on the hordes of the underworld. Why then would we st stoop so low as to consider our Mother God of betraying our covenant? The Khan Maker did not seem at ease with the unforeseen rise of our Slayer, and the, ser the Seraphim who had birthed the Destroyer in secret soon vanished from Urdak, perhaps exiled for his heresy. <clears throat> our legions rose unfettered under the unquenchable rage of the, of the Doom Slayer, and his design led the Khan Maker to find profit in his endorsement. It soon became known that the Slayer was the Maker's God Machine, a holy relic reborn sent to bring the Maker's word to the wicked and to smite those who would seek to harm all who followed the path of, to Urdak. With the Slayer unwittingly cleaving a path for her, the Mother God siphoned the essence, processing it beyond our knowledge you know, into the fuel that would come to be known as Argent Energy. The Slayer cared not for polity, he took no interest in the workings of our people, but set his task only on his desire the destruction of the demons and their world. He no longer spoke for reasons unknown, though it was understood that he still possessed the ability, offered on, uh, offering only guttural hefts of anger as he inflicted pain upon his enemies. For years he marched with the night sentinels through the fires of the demon lands, and every return to our homeworld found much changed in Argentinor. Should any blame be appoint, uh, apportioned to the sentinels, in the, uh, it is this. In our fervor, we were negligent of our people and did not see the rising tide of evil our crusade empowered. We knew only the enemy laid before us and the wealth of Argenta at our backs, and did not pause to seek the cost and method of this progress. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they were they were manipulated and abused, I'd say, with this taken advantage yeah. of. Them. I think you supposed to destroy a statue. There you go. Okay. Not entirely sure uh, what those are supposed to do. Hmm? I know there's a detail they said about the Doomslayer. There. Yeah. I stopped talking. Yep. For some people, uh, if you think, oh, he's cool sometimes. Uh, no, that's a hint of a lot of trauma and anger that. Here's. Some people can um, this understanding of a Doomslayer, although he has been true. He it is only just shut offs and no longer will speak for people. Yeah, it happens with people today after a few things happen so traumatic that they just they just only they just can't get themselves to talk. And what have we it's here? Terrifying. It's obviously a maker this wait is that the machine this yes machine. it is quickly there are those who would seek to stop this i offer you a gift take it it will give you strength help you on your journey So this is that ascension device. I forget his name specifically, but it, they basically used it to purify their ranks. And hello there, Glacier Boy. Hello, Glacier Boy. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of horrifying, but also sad when people do that. That they just instinctively, uh, I don't know if it's instinctively, just, yeah, they just go too, too much, they just can't talk anymore. Yeah, the divinity machine. Let's see. Oh, here. Within the infinite conscience matrix of the all-seeing maker god mind, there exists every po uh, potentiality, every predictable variable of possible future timeline, each one known to the maker collective with omniscient, inextricable inextric 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 clarity, 
The Gaunt line surveys these timelines, watches them form and expand exponentially like fractal patterns in the fabric of existence. Among these infinite possibilities, only one constant appears among them, unchanged by the flowing data of endless vari var variability, that of the prophesied destroyer, the one who would bring about the destruction of the makers. Hmm. And yeah. Oh dear. I And it looks like, in some irony, the, <laughs> their destroyer was also their savior. But uh, they only became the destroyer after the makers lost their path. Yeah. Oop, 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 cornered. No pain elemental. Okay, where's that other mancubus? There you are. Not what I wanted, but okay. Okay, I got that master from Discord. Alright, it was from Treasure Boy. Seems his Twitch is stuttering so much, so you may not be able to watch. Okay. A little bit. Is that there, that? Sad to hear. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Get your hell away and get the hem, hem away. <laughs> there. Yep, yep, that was that. Bonk. Okay, that was easier than expected. Meet up, I see. Okay, not sure what that did, but I do know that I see this here. Okay. Now, there's one over here as well. I know the more I think about it. <clears throat> many people focus on how badass Doomga is, but I feel like many kind of don't realize why he's so angry. Yep. yep. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, some people know he's angry for uh, what they did to Daisy's rabbit. But I was prob he probably lost more than just the rabbit. I think that has been him, he even lost his wife and kid, even. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just playing stuck. Right. <laughs> okay, low checkpoint. That's a bug found. That's first. And... But, yeah. And if fear is all true about this Doom guy, this is the original Doom game from Doom 2. Who got yeah, lost okay. in hell after they very much destroyed Earth? Okay. So, the experience that this Earth you're on is a different Earth. Yeah, different timeline. Like, we specifically had a post there, or, or a bit of info there, about multiversal stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he's still angry, but he has. Oh! To maybe prevent it this time. Well, it's not as horribly as it happened last time. Yeah, lost one Earth and is seeking to, well, stop this one from being, we're suffering the same fate. Yeah. So again. He has reason to be angry, but you. It's hard to not also feel a bit sad for him as well. There. Hmm. I guess. I guess in the from the one and two and with this, these two games we have two stuff in sixteen and uh, eternal. Yeah. 
it, it kind of gives a better picture of Doom Guy. Yeah, let's see. Okay, uh, what am I supposed to do here then, game? Like, I, I'm really enjoying the game overall, but there's these little moments where they just throw something at you that makes me question, why is this here? Like, obviously we need to do something to get the door open, but where and how? Why would we even need to move this thing if we can't open the damn door? Hmm. What are we missing? We are missing something. Oh, I see now. Okay, up ah, there we go. Muscle memory again. Okay, that way is progress. This way is a key. All right. Let's go do this. This is the last one, I believe, since we've missed two. Or rather, we've missed the key for two of these. Okay. Get away, you. Yep, no, you don't. Yep. <laughs> I did not expect to get one in mid of combat. Get up, get up, let me out. Okay, doable so far. Let me. No. Okay, another one. That did not mean to did not mean to use that. There. Looks so painful. 
Another one. Oop. Out of I see you. Non-fiery Byron of Hell. I was sure it was a. It. Pardon. No. Oh, hello. Just sliding in. I don't think this was a. Yeah, I think I think that's a that's not a Baron. That's a Cyber Demon. Yeah. Hey. I thought, I thought they appeared in the next game. Next, there, there's no next game yet. DLC. I mean the DLC. Uh, hey. Hey. Hello there, peace of our 3000! And I am well! And I don't know about Timian, but I think he's having a lot of fun. I'm definitely being kept busy like this. No time for a hug. There's always time for hugs. Uh. Um, a tyrant, okay. Uh, don't be so good to know. About what? I'm just... Okay, uh, what is uh, left? What, what about you, Pizza Boy? How are you today? Wait, really? Can you say Pizza Boy again? Yep. Uh, okay. The first half of that was the hardest part. Okay, give me that. No. Let's take a look at the info we got. Yeah, on the tyrants. Let's see. It's probably on the super heavy. Yeah, tyrants. Let's see. Well time double jump or dash is needed to evade the seeker wave. Uh, slow to turn uses to your advantage. <clears throat> Demon lords to the black soul pits of ba uh, Babel. The tyrants have long served as wardens and slavers of the infernal pits. Weaponized and cybernetically altered by the UAC, the tyrants are tasked with overseeing the collection and extraction of sin-branded human souls from the mortal world. Their role in hell ordained by the unholy sigil of the elder hell gods. A, yeah, a sadistic master of lesser demons, the tyrants are feared for their cruelty and madness. Okay, so not cyber demons, but well, they've been—they are still cyberized demons. 
Yeah, I feel like they kind of split up, but then like the Cyberdemon met in the last game had an actual different firm of name, they also nicknamed it Cyberdemon. Yeah, they're, they're lesser Cyberdemons. I, I don't think these guys use skill, but the, the Tigers would entirely to you call them lesser. Yeah, all the better. Okay, from Pizza Lover. I am good. I am just doing some work. Then going to Brock Souls, being stuck in boss fights, so trying to beat it with the death. Lamb and relaxed. Oh, calm and relaxed mind. <laughs> okay, that mm -hmm. misspelling was on him. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, okay, so he did actually spell clam. Oh yeah, he did. Oh wait, he's doing that. I think I know what happened. He, he got killed by the clam things in Dark Souls. Uh, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, damn it. Go. Oh, there's an arch file somewhere. Oh, really, the stupid shields took that. Oh, sorry for that misspelling. Just not really focusing much. As you yeah, know, I'm doing my work. Yeah, m another. No, I, I did mean calm. Then we figured as much. Just <laughs> that's what I don't expect the typo. Stop. Shut up, shut up, and... Come on! Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm starting, yeah, I'm really... I'm just really starting to dislike the arch valves for an entirely different reason than the people from the original uh, games. Uh, if they summoned normal demons over and over, then it'd be I'd be a mo bit more understandable of it. But with them summoning empowered ones, yeah, I'm going to call bullshit on that. Yeah, Especially if their shield can tank a BFG hit. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, I think they made them a little bit too powerful. Uh, there's something there. Must be a toy or album. And... Really? The shield able to tank a B and Z? They, that that one is definitely a very big bullshit. Eleven. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, there's a Slayer and Night Sentinels battle the demonic host. Their failure to act outside the confines of their duty allowed the rancor of the essence to grip the Argenta. 
It was on a mission deep within the boiling seas of the nether realm where the Order of the Six resides that a company of night sentinels learned of the con maker's true dealings with uh, the callous beasts. By maker design, it was kept secret from the sentinels and Argent people alike that the essence we had grown so reliant on during this war was comprised of the very soul, was of the very spirit of our brothers and sisters who'd fallen to these vile creatures. The truth had been uncovered that all beings who found their ends by the demonic horde would become a vassal of the hellscape, their flesh in time twisted into the very demons we fight, their souls extracted to create the essence that powers their world and ours. The victims were the enemy, and the enemy would become us. The soldiers stood in awe at the base of a factory dedicated to such action, a place where the bodies of the slain were sorted and processed, tortured for the mill to have their souls extracted through sinister magic. Enormous vats of pain and suffering, ethereal energy, the haunting sounds of lost souls awash in an eternity of servitude, transformed into energy to power our struggle against the Dark Realm and its malice. But worse than this grim reality was the discovery of the machinery which, had, you know, which was used to enact the vile process our fallen had been subjected to. For it was not by hoof and claw that the, this blasphemous, yeah, blasphemous technology had come to pass, but by the hand of the Argenta guided by the Mother God's desires. We had fallen deep within the grasp of the enemy, but we had fought against would not reveal itself to be true, as without countenance we uh, could hold no sway over the Argenta populace. Regardless, the honor of the Night Sentinels would have to hold up the, veri the verity of these claims, and the Mother God could be our divinity no more. In secret corridors and clandestine con conference, the Night Sentinels would find those among themselves who, similar who similarly distrusted the essence and had foretold the swelling corruption. Once the truth could be shared, the skeptics became men members of the Sentinel insurrection, and the breach between Holy and Unholy Argenta began to grow. Yeah... Uh, something, something, uh, those that stare into the abyss. Yeah. But also, that kind of case certainly confirms the rule that many of the other creatures we have met used to just to be something else. Yeah, and here is our crucible. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, and also, by the way, I got a new game on my Switch. It's really fun and great game. Okay, what did you get then, Pizza? And yeah. at this point, we don't really care what happens to Argent, since Argent has already fallen. So, they can go play with uh, this one, whilst we go deal with an active threat. Your vault should contain what you need. War vaults. Let's see, the game is called Banner of Ruin, it's a strategy and turn based game, kinda. And the game is. But the, and the music is great too. Alright. Okay. Uh, how, how did you get damaged? The way I'm going to finish it. Time to deal with you, Marauder. You know what? Fuck all of you.
Bears, get out. Okay. Going to leave this one alive for a moment. And no more. Oh, no. Okay, there's no ammo or no BFG ammo around to refill what we spent. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking it when the game puts us in a small arena like that. Because it really limits the mobility that we have. The world of Argentinor yeah. has fallen. Divided, the demonic energy flows now to the south. And the society you once knew has been replaced by a corrupted world under maker rule. It did not need to end this way. Yeah. Let's see. Missed. I don't know if you know, so I just say it, but you can find BFG ammo on the map. It shows where yeah, it shows, I know. ammo is. Yeah, yeah, we you know what that. I think it's a reminder. Cats. And the bonk. I can, there are some parts that I really do like about this game, but there are some bits that are just bullshit, if you ask me. Yeah, what difficulty did you take? Uh, normal one, I think. Not easy. Uh, yeah, the empowered demon thing, on, in principle, it is uh, nice to throw in some in, uh, to throw in some uh, variety. But the random winners of what, of what comes out as empowered, I believe, is yeah, that's a no go since that can really yeah just interrupt the flow of a battle. Yeah. Probably put, spend some of these as well. Okay. Suits. We have. How many? Okay, we have 18. Yeah, let's spend some. Uh, grab that. Uh, dice refills on glory kills. We've not used the frag grenade at all, so we can drop that. Uh, let's see. Damaging and killing frozen will drop health. Okay. Damage against is increased. Yep. This one's my favorite. Complete a Praetor suit perk category in a single save slot. Did that pop up here? Because I've noticed that some of these things don't pop up on the stream, even though third-party capture is set to turn on or set to on. Weird. Hmm. 
Let's get that one. Anything else? Now, one part of it could just also be because I tend to not move around as much. You know, we've missed some yeah. things over there, it seems. See, from Pizza Lover, the frag grenade is super amazing, especially because one of the upgrades that is that you can fire two frag instead of one. Okay. And okay. uh, let's see. Yeah, here we see the uh, division. The civil war. The truth, <clears throat> the truth could not be denied. The unholy spires raised in the barren lands functioned by blessing of maker machinery. The Khan had betrayed Argent and Ur and made, he had made con had made cons concert with the demons to harvest their essence. In return, granting them access to all the worlds under her influence. The symbiotic relationship had formed, and darkness had been balanced by a light. From where there was heaven, uh, for where there was heaven, there so there would be a hell. The followers would be granted passage to Urdak, and the sinners would fall into the fiery pits of the Dark Realm. This word uh, would be spread from all cultures in all worlds and in all places. We were not without blame, for it was our people, the priests and sentinel engineers, who'd laid the work in place. Our gentle slaves had built the dark factories, and our own ancient wraith energy helped purify Hell's elixir into the miracle fuel that now powered the Maker's world and our own. The Night Sentinels spoke of the evil brought by the Essence and carried their word to all who would listen. We had helped to create this new dichotomy, and so it must be for the Argenta to stop the spread of this pestilence, this new phase of existence, the dark and the light. If not for us, then for the innocent whose worlds had, have yet to fall under the spell of the Maker Gods and her unseen allies in the Hell Dimension. <clears throat> Even when the Night Sentinels returned from the demonic realm with tales of slave factories that damned the souls of the innocent, the indoctrinated masses of Arjunanur took no quarrel with the Makers. They were indebted to the demon essence, the ministers deliberating, but finding no basis for chains. The messengers were cast down for daring to speak against those who had gifted us so much, our gods, the Makers. In their infinite wisdom, we would see fit that the faithful continue life anew in Arduk, their Arduk, they feared the wrath of Mother God. A lifetime of servitude would not be undone by this insurrection. This was simply another trial, a test of faith to identify those who were truly worthy to experience life eternal or, or dark. The agenda would not waver in their resolve. Uh, who, who is this Mother God that they speak of? We know that the Khan Maker. Is that their boss? You so have to say? That, that, that's her. Okay, yeah, so the Khan Maker and Mother God are one and the same? Just wind up naming yes. the same thing then. That sort of stuff just causes confusion. The Sentinels prepared for war once more. Name. Uh, once again, though this battle was meant and uh, uh, this battle meant drawing the blood of their own brothers. Our army had seen the work of the demons firsthand and knew its evil. They had returned to the way of the raids, and uh, though their armament was diminished without the essence, they remained pure and righteous. A division amongst the Argenta had occurred, one side standing in opposition to the doctrine of the Makers, the other locked in belief. The Ascended Empire was comprised of the faithful and misled, wielding the desecrated energies of Hell, the power of the Makers and Marauders who had sided with the Khan. The Night Sentinels were bolstered by the free people of Argenta and the mightiest of all killers, the Slayer himself. Plans and tactics were drawn, the Sentinels would close the Argent energy factories in, ne in Necrovol, that which fed the world of Ardak directly with its supply of fresh essence. They would stop the flow, the slumbering raids would wake from their sleep and give Argent and Nur current. Okay, this, this also helps explain why, yeah, <laughs> why Doomguy did everything he could to destroy the Argent, the Argent energy production on Mars. Because he knew where it was going and it had already gone. Okay. Don't think we'll get too much out of the perk from this, since we ty we're typically not really at max health for long, but still. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> oh, I, something I have to say. 
So we have noticed more and more as I've seen people play this game and watching Hillian play this as well. The glory kills tell something about the Doomslayer. Yeah, just how freaking angry he gets. Well, that, that end. While he was stuck in hell in the beginning and after he joined Argentineur, a lot of experience in killing them is showing yeah. his glory kills. Okay, we're going to that area next, it seems. We missed something over there. Wait, is that a combat... Why is that area red, even though the combat is already over there? Battery, coin... A lot of stuff here. But, yeah, it's the... It's the Argent, the Argenta who strays, or the Argent, the Argenta and the Makers who strayed from their own path, which is the cause of all of this. So yeah, when they, okay, when they prof, when they saw the prophecy of their demise, it wasn't the technic, it wasn't technically the Makers of that time whose demise it was predicted. It was the well, the fall of the fallen art makers that was predicted. Okay, according to map, there's something here. Just not. Okay. Weird. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, really? There. That's not quick enough. Okay. And then yes, R symbol. Surprised I haven't looted this before. What is this? New battery? And a recharge. Okay. Part 13. Yeah, the priests, portal, hell. Let's see. Demons. For years, for years, the civil war raged and took its toll on the soldiers as their armor laid stained with the blood of their brothers on a cursed battlefield. Finally, an opportunity to end the war had been discovered by the Order Dag and the Night Sentinels. Okay, so wait, uh, who are? Da, 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 da. With the Slayer at the head of their army, they got... Okay, yeah, so that is the case. The priests and the... Uh, the, the priests turned... Uh, uh, joined the insurrection, but betrayed them. So that... Okay, that explains. Uh, with the Slayer at the head of their army, they gathered to traverse through the gate and sunder uh, Necrovol, the city of the dead. The Order of the Day, you know, the High Priest, who had pledged their allegiance long ago to the Night Sentinels, worked in service of our mission. These holy priests, who had served the Argenta since time immemorial, assured us that the way was clear. A plan was set to march into the accursed walls of Necrovol and smite the factory, cutting off the flow of essence to Urdak and denying the con maker of our prize. Our forces took spear in hand and advanced, and it is there that the venom of treachery struck. Upon entry to the Hell Portal, the Night Sentinels were scattered to the winds of unplanned chaos. Our warriors were separated, our ranks split as the gates uh, twisted and hurled them across the Unholy Realm. Some of our warriors appeared near the gates they had walked uh, near to the gates they had walked before, but found that the Vile Priest had barred the way back. Then the trap was sprung, and each lone Argenta found himself set upon by bloodthirsty multitudes of demonic beasts. Yeah. Let it be known that it was not the priest alone who failed the northern armies, but one of the sentinels' own. Hell found his weakness and exploited it to the demise of Argent and Noor. 
If not for the betrayer's stroke of madness, the raid's powers would still be our own, and the sentinel flag would still uh, rise above Arzenden Noor to this day. Yeah, we met that guy. Yeah. He, he, he helped us resource a battery. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, these may... I think a better word now would... Instead of calling these people the Argenta, would be to call them the Scarlet, since, yeah, they've surrendered to hell. Yeah, they want to join the uh, the Maker, yeah, they would be called... They all call themselves the Marauders, apparently. Yeah, th those are the Night Sentinels who well, went against the Order and joined uh, the Unholy. So yeah, they, it wasn't that they were twist... It wasn't that they were captured and twisted, they just surrendered and twisted. Mm. Though I very much doubt that they would not uh, forcibly convert any any loyal sentinels uh, <clears throat> that they could get their hands on. And by loyal, I mean the ones loyal to uh, loyal to the spirits of their <laughs> culture, not to the leaders. Um, zoom died. Thank you. This is a very tall vault. Yeah. And y you have seen Scrooge McDuck's vault, right? Yep. I'll try to use the frag grenade a bit more, but if it's on the same cooldown as the cryo grenade, then no. Just jump down. Yep. Can't reach that. Yes, they might they not like me going wee. Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. Is it from Pizza Lover? I shall be going now. It was fun. That's gonna be good, guys. Just want to pop in and say hi. See you yeah, soon. Bye. Bye, Pizza Lover. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Oop. Spectre. Ow. There's the Spectre. There goes the Spectre. Bonk. And bonk. Nothing here, nothing here. Hmm. Okay. something there yep. now, of course something for ammo 
Too much for an aim. Okay, that's that. I'm not sure if we've been able to get three fuel at once now, so far. Okay, port 14. And yeah. Wait, that's not Doom Slayer? Or is that supposed to be him? The armor is no, different than what we've seen. Mech. That's a oh, yeah. mech. That's one of the Atlans. Okay. Scattered in hell, abandoned by their clergy and reinforcements, the Sentinels prove their worth in what would be their final war with the forces of all evil. Unrelenting power in the face of certain death, the Sentinels crushed hundreds of demons and skewered titans. With, when their Atlans held no more fuel, the Sentinels took to the ground and fought the swarms on land. All of hell knew of the betrayal, for it was without question the makers and the priests who had sowed the seeds of deceit long before the brave warriors passed through the gate. What hell saw that day was the beating heart of the free people of Argentinor. They did not flinch in the face of their own certain death. They died as they lived, with sword and shield in hand. Urdak too low a place to house such giants. Theirs would be the fate of warrior gods, remembered for all time. Lord Sash, the stalwart banner sergeant, was found with his war standard pierced through the throat of a great beast, his body surrounded by the corpses of enemies. Rowan the Great, the light faded from his eyes, had eviscerated such a multitude that their entrails clung to the back black rocks like vines. Gore, relentless until the end, had broken his blade by the, uh, on the backs of his foes, and by the time he fell he had slain another two score with his hands alone. The priest believed the sentinels all slain. But we are Argenta, born to overcome. Rumors, deemed heretical by the Order Daig, persist and claim that the Slayer himself still rages in the unholy realm. None who live can know, for the future of Argentinor has been bent and twisted by the perverted vision of the Essence Drinkers. Never again will the light of the rage illuminate our world. All has fallen. If the Slayer does live, let him carry our vengeance forward. If he persists, if he persists, let him wreak violence on those who have wronged us. May the blood of his sword never dry, may his war never end until the guilty have been punished, and may this evil never again spread its shadow across over another world. And that's the last of the story of the Sentinels. Yeah, also a correction. He meant ruin the mighty, not ruin the great. Yeah. Yep. Mastery tokens. Um... Uh, Allow you to act, bypass that. active weapon uh, mastery challenges and instantly activate weapon masteries. Okay. Okay, that sounds useful. Let's see, what is one that we would like to upgrade immediately then? Let's see. I'm mostly using the precision bolt for taking out weak spots, so I'm not sure about that one. Hmm. Not sure about that either. Maybe. But that should be easy enough to get. Set hooks on. Hmm. Maybe this one. Not much use for the Arbalist, really, with its upgrades, I'd say. Still, let's take a look. Okay, we'll recharge instantly after a direct hit. And fire destroyer blades before they have reached maximum width. That would be actually useful. Mobile turrets. Okay, no longer. St actually, yeah, let's let's just get this one. Now we can just keep firing until we run out of ammo. Okay. Hmm. I'm sure you want to try out your weapon first before we leave. Mm -hmm.
Let's see. The crucible is a melee weapon of extraordinary power. Press V to unsheath and press to cleave demons. Each demon costs one pip. Replenish the crucible's energy with crucible pickups found in the world. Okay. Oh, you're gonna love this. I can't hear you. So basically, it's a portable rage. Oh, 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 rage. <laughs> that like the, the pick the the pickup where we punch stuff out. I know your sound so funny. Poor, poor rage. It's almost something what you would call it. Call if you put hide a battery in a handbag or something. <laughs> okay. One. No, and we finally have three of that, so... Come here, you. In back. Oh, come on, though. Don't have me collect three fuel and just deny me. There we go. That is one way to get rid of those fuckers. Bit of a waste, but I will. Yeah, I don't think you want to use them on the zombies. Where's the point acquired? Wait, you can up. Can we upgrade it? Wait, I don't remember if you can. I hope you can. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Reforged and refueled. Acquire a new crucible in Terra's Nabat. Okay. We skip the secret encounter. Since we really don't really get that much from that. Maybe some weapon points, but we already have what we want, I'd say. Six Codex, Ice Bomb. Okay, three different on pain elementals. And we missed quite a few things. We missed two toys, a coin, two discs. Nope. Wait, what Wait, is that then? Reward. Oh, that's a mastery token. Okay. And rewards is from the battle passes. So we can get skins and such out of this, but yeah, nothing too much of interest, I'd say. I can see Viper Fish. Unless we get that very nice uh, one. And it, that's a, yeah, these are skins for demons. Ah, damn it. Okay. Hey, Argent and Nurus Fallen. It is not accessible to anyone. No human or sentinel has ever set foot in their dimension. You can use the Maker's Argent factory in the Hell City of Necroval to pass through the void. Once there, you will not be able to leave on your own, but Vega can create an exit portal for you. That is why you must bring Vega through the void with you to Erdak. Understood. I'm detaching myself from the ship's systems. Processing. Total transfer to external drive complete. <laughs> Vega is no longer connected to your ship. I will reconfigure the portal to Necroball for you. Still don't trust you fully, Do Samuel. You require anything else before we begin our journey to Verdak. You will not be able to return until the mission is complete. Point of no return. Yeah. This is your last chance to unlock items and explore the fortress. Okay. Uh, we have yeah, some so batteries. Yeah, don't forget to that, and as well to check up if you have any new messages from the uh, get at the thingy. Any new transmissions? Can we? Yeah. Hmm. How are you supposed to get this then? A third jump, maybe? From another angle, like from uh, an upper floor? Yeah, there is no floor above this. Might as well use this.
Okay. There. And with that, we have all of the add-ons, I believe. Uh, yeah, F3. And, yeah, we don't have any more batteries. We can put the last of these in. Yeah, we, we missed these two. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, let's see, we still have 45 minutes. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll, uh... Yeah, I don't think I'll go back just for the, uh, the Slayer Gates. Maybe in, uh, after the, the... Maybe after this game is finished, or the story is finished. Attention, this is an emergency broadcast from the Ark Resistance. Numerous reports from survivor cells across the globe are confirming that at some time within the last 24 hours, the demonic invaders have begun amassing in swarms near Gore Nests. Ark scientists have theorized that this behavior is indicative of the arrival of a super predator, a world eater. Ark personnel advise all survivors remain in the safe zones. Yeah, the icon of sin. Let's see if we can kick their asses before they are done summoning it, or reviving it. With the Crucible Blade, with the Crucible Blade forged new, you begin your journey to the Conmaker's heavenly realm of Urdak to stop her from gaining full control of the Slum Rink's Icon of Sin. To reach the Maker world, you must pass through Necrovol, City of the Damned. At the core of Necrovol towers the accursed citadel, where inhuman souls are sorted, tortured, and converted into Argent energy. At the tower's peak, Argent is transmitted directly to Urdak, providing you with the only known point of entry to the Maker City. Hello. Argent energy is made from the souls of Hell's victims. This is the factory where that takes place. Necrovol, the city of the damned. Yeah, crying lava. Oh, this looks horrifying. I should probably start looking up uh, Doom War again. Like double checking my facts and all that. And perhaps learn something I missed. Okay. And it does look like the grenades are on separate cooldowns. That's good. And we should just start upgrading them grenades. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought they were on the same. Yeah, they would share. Yeah, but, 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 just. <laughs> just barely made that jump. Okay. Okay, what is the point of this bit? Up ah, there. Where do we go from there then? Okay. Not seeing any use in going that way. Let's see. Let's get the last arm ammo upgrades. Uh, to see armor or ammo, there is only something you get on the side thing. Yeah, I almost said armor. Wester was going for the ammo. Okay. 
Uh, there. Nope, that's send me flying. <laughs> I think he ran into the wall. Okay, here's the prowler. I guess it cannot break the fourth wall. Yep. Fucking. Fine, if you're going to volunteer. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay, some more. Necrobol one. Okay. The city of Necrovol was built in hell by the combined efforts of the makers and sentinel engineers, designed to produce a continuous flow of argent energy. Constructed of stone and fell steel on a foundation of uncounted corpses, the sprawling fortress uh, funnels a constant stream of victims towards Calabas, the sightless judge. This ancient demon is a rare breed, unable to communicate or move without great difficulty. It exists as an overseer of sorts, awaiting as cages packed with the recently slain are brought before it, determining which souls are candidates for the origin process. Operating not unlike a large-scale slaughterhouse, Necrovol is divided into many sections. The most immediately accessible portions contain the Abaddon Pit, an enormous chasm where victims are herded. Beyond Calabas, the Argent-worthy souls are directed deeper into the Black Fortress. Those who he renders unfit are discarded as waste, their tortured souls thrown into the burning sludge of the Blood Swamps. <laughs> yeah, and the Makers made this. Go. Block damage. Oh, bloody heck. Three. Extras or no? Okay, this is where we were supposed to get introduced to the tyrants. Oop, out of ammo. Here you go. Come on. There we go. Makes all of this uh, extra hypocritical. Uh, if, the, if this was if this was happening to Argent Denur, you know they'd be bitching and moaning about it being unfair. Oh, hello there. Possibly, unless they actually did play some. Then you were hint that some did not, did not trust the oil game machine. Yeah, but those were those during the insurrection. Come 
Come here, you. What exactly do we, are we doing with this? That opens this. Come on. Like, I'm okay with these being little puzzles, but don't make them timed like this, because you can, you know, with... If you're low on ammo, you can just get yourself stuck in parts like this. Yeah. And when Earth is gone and they can no longer extract from that, they just move on to the next world. And the next, and the next, and the next. And they wonder why they're considered the uh, villains. Hello. Mother brain. Yes, that was his eye. I don't remember who it was. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, platforms are moving. Volunteers. the time here that one's open Yeah, I kind of feel like this team did not expect to have Doom Guy to appear here. Yep. Oh, fuck off. That thing. Oh, wait. Knock, knock. There. Okay, that's going to make it more difficult to tell who can and can't be uh, processed. What is that? Oh. <laughs> yep, too late. I still got one. Using their own factory machines against them. Another coin. 
Uh, I I'm guessing these coins are where the sentinels or some of the night go uh, yeah, sentinels spell. Let's see, that door is closed. Okay. Must be a way to open that up. Actually, fall on that now, it seems. off you now oh, fuck this arch vial where is it oh no yeah, yeah just for you Pretty sure I got it with one of those. There. Oh, there. Oh, uh, happened where? I think you're sorry for your granite that it's only really a bite smoke. Plasma something. I, did, I wasn't using the grenade launch, I was using the sticky bombs. Oh, you threw a sticky bomb into its mouth. Yeah. We've been using that since the first... We've been doing that since the first stream, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I will use now... I know that it did ball up and all, but... I don't think I just know that this close, it actually looks like it was out... I don't know, like that was white smoke or white fire. There. Okay. We need to use flamethrower more. Speaking of flamethrowers. Oh. The humans must be tortured. The flesh can be. Once enough pain has been inflicted and the spirit broken, the soul is ready for the extraction process. To ride on top one of these. Yeah. Something there. Secret encounter there. Now it is going to be fun. Of course. There it is. Now, I really don't like the buff stuff. Yeah, 
Get used to him, I'll boost. Can't say on their own already, so they do all like, on his own overkill. Mm -hmm. It's li it, it's the aggressiveness that makes it hard. There. Near you. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, I have the most. I have the most issue with the height and aggressiveness, which makes it hard. Okay, we can't grab. Which, yeah, it's a lot more likely to get me stuck in a corner or something. It's, Ooh, that needs to be open. Why was it a bit higher today? That is blocked. Okay, I see. For people wondering, but uh, not as talkative today, or it sounded a bit different. It has been stormy for two days. Both yesterday evening, and it's been storming all day, and I feel that like, thing it's affecting my head a bit. Okay, where's the second thing? We could slip through that, but yep, yeah, game logic. That connects to this one. Is it active now? Yes, it is. Oh, fuck. oh come on, a marauder and one of these assholes. I don't remember. Wait, is the Empire thing a recent thing? Not sure. But I don't think I remember them at all from all the playthroughs I've seen. Uh, yep. This, this is what I mean with it not working together. If you, the Marauder is your high priority here, but that empowered damage is going to be a fucking nuisance whilst you're having to deal with them. Wait, emp emp empowered ones. From when another player died to them? Yes. Oh. Let's see. Fuel the entire uh, Eternal Flame Part 1. Let's see. The transportation of mortal creatures into demon... Uh, or the transformation, not transportation, uh, is a laggard and gradual process, one that can take eons to transpire without the catalyst of Argenta intervention. The victim is left to maunder in the Shadowland for years uncounted, where over ageless time they transform into demon. Uh, during their nightmarish journey, the ethereal soul slowly, slowly drains from the body, and in a dark realm the substance of mortal life is manifest as matter. It gathers in pools of volatile, uh, volatile aura found all over hell. Demonkind call these pool the w pools the well, and use them to invigorate themselves for battle. It is from this aura that the essence is formed. By melding it with wraith energy, that which uh, lights uh, the darkened halls and sets the sentinel world ablaze, the essence is founded. The combining of these primal energies creates Argent energy, a power source so potent, so incalculably formidable, that it has consumed the Argenta and driven us uh, on to greater influence than was ever possible with a wraith power alone. And with wraith power, they, they, <laughs> they spread across the fucking galaxy. Yuck. Down. Wait, I'm sure. It also has a shot gun. Yeah, but more son of type. Okay. Yeah, I believe one way I've heard it described is that you know, that combat in Doom is like a dance, 
that you need to prioritize things. But when you have two things of extremely high importance, like a freaking Marauder and an Empowered Demon, yeah, then it starts to mess with things. Yeah. Like, I can see people accidentally getting killed by that damn thing. Like, uh, this thing, this weapon one. But I'm trying to fight him in order. But due to the dive to it, means all players will have even harder time because of it. So, yeah, but this is actually just making it worse. That means if you actually die to something that's already annoying, so it's gonna have even worse. Yep. But what is it? Uh, oh. Okay. It's a, it's a very dumb system. That. Going to save that for something big. Freaking pinky. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, of course. Actually, no. Let's see if I can get the both of you near each other. Near enough. Oh, the rain of pain! Once the spirit is broken and enough pain. Oh, it is so hard. Nothing around here. Okay, there is that secret there that we missed. Okay, well. Uh, ah, we need to bring something down on that. A chandelier! Ah, we wait. Is that? That's Olivia Pierce. Okay. I did not know she was here as well. Yes, that's uh, how the, she became the employee of the month. I guess. Or yeah. Something. Wait, what do you say? I guess. I she was put through an immense amount of suffering. I mean, really, that's just a pathetic little height there. Was used to create a new de demon breed. Okay, we need to bring that down, but for that we need to be able to get up there. I think. Wait, let me get that up yeah. again. Hmm. See, it goes all the way over there. Okay. There has but to be somewhere right. here to get up there. Oh, wait, wait. She had something on her back. Yeah, that's that's the punching thing. Yes. We need to punch oh. the back of the statue to bring it down. But we need to first get okay. up there. And there's an opening here. For that, we need to be able to get up here or there. Like, where do we need to go here, game? Yeah, this is also just something. Sometimes it's unclear as to where the hell we need to go. Like, put the marker here. Yeah, we need to go here. But before we can go here, we need to go there. And to go there, we need to get up there somewhere. So, 
Put your marker where it's actually supposed to be, game. There. Not even sure if that's how we were supposed to get there, but I got here. Uh, thought so. Olivia. I feel like every arachnoid gonna be very pissed now. Yeah. No more Slayer Gate because there's none left. Two with Crucible. Eight using Crusher Traps. Perform a left side glory kill on the Doom Hunter. Okay. I'm pretty sure we only saw one pickup for this, so how are you supposed to get two? Hmm. Let's Did he see. miss them? Okay, Necrovol Part 2. As you make your ascent, you approach the final floors of the Citadel where souls are extracted from their bodies and converted into Argent energy. Enter the final stage at the Maker's Processing Plant and use the Argent Conduit to gain access to Urdak, homeworld of the Makers, where the Con Maker prepares the final ritual to gain control of the Icon of, uh, of, the icon of Sin and unleash it upon the Earth. Inside that citadel is the soul extraction chamber. We must make our way through into the top where the pure Argent energy is exported directly to Erdak. Okay, that was that. And we have three fuel, so we can take out something big. We kept that. Okay. Mm. Out there. Okay. At least put me down over there. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. I'm just going to take you out just because. Really? And put those down from behind the shield. Okay, we won't be able to finish the game in this stream, but I presume the next we can. Possibly. Maybe. And the, 
And the last of these. Okay. So now we'll get all sorts of extra pickups whenever we are at max health. Your people are made to suffer. Processed souls for the con maker's world. I assure you, this could have been avoided with different leadership. I think it should probably be clear now, but I get the feeling that Samuel has been dead for quite a while and that this is Samur possessing his body. Please! Is, it's kind of what I've been trying to hint at you for a few streams. Yeah, okay, that's the speed up thing. Uh, also... Since we get infinite ammo with this. <laughs> Question is, when did Samuel die then? And when did he get possessed? Because it wasn't during the... Uh, it wasn't during the last game. Because he was very much still... The, yeah, the jackass. It might have been way before he even it was in a robot body. And then... yeah. It could have been that when he possessed a human body, it otherwise started to deteriorate. So he made a robot uh, body instead. Uh, at some, uh, there's, a, there's a personality change at some point, because in the previous game, Samuel was ornament about keeping Argent energy, and now he is going, uh, yeah, that, that was a bad idea. There he is. There he is. Connect. Invalid. Overkill on that, but I will. So at, at a certain point, Samuel got taken over by Samur, who was already mechanical himself from the looks of it. Extras underneath. Let's see. This is one of the soul spires identified in the Argenta text, built into the central columns of Necrovol. Although most soul spires were linked directly to Argent and Nur uh, through a hill priest created uh, con Continuum Gate, uh, or Continuum, yeah, Continuum, I believe is how we say that, this particular one is linked to Urdak, the homeworld of the Makers. There is no Continuum. Uh, Continuum gate here, presumably due to the con maker's natural distrust of those under her charge. The soul spires were designed by the makers to accumulate the process or to accelerate the processing of mortal victims into Argent energy and built in secrets by uh, sentinel slaves under the direction of the Order Daig. This forced labor was a crucial step in fulfilling the con maker's desire for Argent, as being from Urdak, uh, beings from Urdak are unable to cross over to Hell's dimension. Okay. Yeah, th th throughout the game, the makers have been uh, depicted somewhat as angelic beings, but I'd say they are worse than demons because the demons are. Yeah. This pretty, oh. is raw, argent energy. The suffering on Earth, the bloodshed, all of it. 
for this. Once the soul is extracted, the husk of the human body will over time transform into the demons you fight now. The extracted soul, the remains, will power their rule. The essence of hell. Uh, like I was saying, the, the demons have always been like this, but the makers chose to take this on for their power production. They chose to be worse than the demons themselves. And as much as they'll say that they are the good guys, they are still sacrificing other worlds for the sake of their own, no better than the demons themselves. Oh, to hear. Yeah, to hear you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Cleave. Got lucky with finding him as he spawns. Motherfucker. Fuck. Fuck off you. stream we only got like three of those but I think we've surpassed ten now I forgot to count <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I even counted to begin with yeah I've kept it up and it, I believe it was at 36 so we might surpass 50 by the end of the game okay fuel the eternal flame the Maker's need for the Essence is prime. Without it, they must suffer the monstrous fate of transfiguration and see their wisdom and faculties slither from their twisted forms. By the bidding of the Con Maker herself, the Order of the Dag has now devised a method to improve and accelerate the production of the Hell Aura. What once took eons for the savage beast to attain can now be accomplished in short order by our gentle intellect and with greater efficiency and consistency. We constructed the soul spires, vast halls erected in the savage lands of our slaves, or by our slaves, and under the direction of the Order. Even though we raised a monument on their ground, demonkind does not harry us during it, it does not harry us during assembly of the soul spires, for the Khan Maker herself bartered a deal with the Dark Lord that rules over the Shadow Walkers. A bargain was struck. The demons would be given flesh, uh, fresh worlds and souls to consume, bolstering their forces and expanding the corrupting and domain of hell and the makers would be granted access to the flow of Argent. The procedure inside the soul spires is thus. The captives are tortured until no semblance of humanity remains within them. Bereft of hope, the mortal soul is vulnerable and can be easily extracted. This we achieve with the machine from the enlightened mind of the con maker herself, the Evulser. Once the Evulser has done its deed and the soul has been extracted, the victim's body is ejected into the wasteland where, as for our cunning meddling, it becomes daemon over time. Uh. Yeah. Okay, where's... Yeah, we go up. Okay, boss fights. Again? Yep, missed him. Only 
as a portion of the resources that come from the human soul. It was the Makers and the Sentinel Priests who discovered and unlocked the true power of the Essence. They combined Sentinel and Hell energies together, refined and created Arjun. With it, they did wondrous things. Saved the world from extinction. Healed the sick. And gave infinite power to those worthy of it. That's sounding more like the like the Samuel of old. Hmm. Takes. Stream timer went off. So at the next this checkpoint. Was built in secret. The Night Sentinels never knew of its existence. Built by Sentinel slaves, for a maker can never set foot in hell, nor demon in Erdak. Argent Anur served a great purpose to the makers. Okay. We gather the volatile aura and store it in vast reservoirs. There it is coalesced with wraith energy and subjected to the infernal fires of hell itself. In the heat of the primal fire, the essence is loosened, uh, loosed and captured for our gain. The final stage of the process is the dividend of the gains. Vast quantities of the essence are fed directly to Argent and Norm to power our machine and drive our engine. The rest is reserved for the con maker. Though she may never set foot in the Dark Realm, she has devised means to teleport Essence to the Holy Land, with that which she calls Erdak, the Domain of Angels. Her use of the Essence is unchallenged, for it was she and her court that gave us design to capture the Essence, and her payment is just. Yeah, just. Just revolting is what you mean. There's a breakable there. Oop, hello. <laughs> I suppose. Ah, there. Okay. Just jump that. Okay. Going to be one last fight. There is Samur pointing through. Okay. Checkpoint game. Okay. I'm hoping, expecting it after this fight, we'll have the checkpoints. Oop, that's a mancubus. Low on ammo with everything, it seems. Except this one. Okay. Yep. Come on. Might not even need to fight after all. Yeah, it's okay. Yep. Oh, hello. Okay, that's one of those eyes. Is it attacking? 
Oh, the machine is attacking, it seems. Oh, well. It's mistake. Come on. the checkpoint now. Oh, great, we need to get rid of more eyes. This. There we go. Okay. Waiting for anything that looks like a checkpoint mode icon. Get to the transmitter tower. If you can destroy it, the unrefined energy should be able to propel you into their world. Okay, I'm guessing slash hoping that that is a checkpoint. <laughs> Okay, if not, we'll have to do a bit of the fight with the machine over, but oh well. Yeah, oh, what the heck, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> All I'm, right. I'm, I've been sleepier than the, earlier than the usual, it feels like. All okay. right. Uh, okay. Uh, well, okay, I'm fine with this. It's going to make sense. I don't have Doom Helmet here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, before we end the stream, though, we're going to look for someone to raid, so I need to change the screen share. Uh, let's see, change windows, switch, go, and let's see. Slooptube is playing Minecraft, Nico is doing art, Swalbe is, doing is playing Fallout again, Isaiah Razir is playing Pseudo Regalia, which is that Nintendo 64-like uh, uh, Metroidvania. Uh, Derpy Doo is playing Baldur's Gate, Smoops on the Nonsense Project Zomboid, Touch Kelly Taylor Remnants 2, Halloween with Metroid Other M. Okay, it's typically called the worst Metroid. Any of those or someone else? I'll let you pick, but I have a problem thinking at the moment. Okay, uh, let me take a look. Uh, let's go raid Sloop Tube. So, copy the name. They are just starting. Or they've been they've been active for only six minutes. All right. Slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, Sensei, for the lurk. I see you there. And yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. No multiplayer thing tomorrow because then I'll be keeping uh, attendance for one of for the swimming group that I'm technically part of. Not officially, I think. I just help out every now and then. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure next time we'll be finishing off the game. Hopefully. Maybe. And yeah. Then after that, we will be moving on, or rather starting, with the Dawn of War series. Like I have the Dawn of War one is stable enough to play through, but it doesn't like being alt tabbed. So I, if anything goes wrong, it, luckily it does start up quick, uh, pretty quickly. So if something happens off screen, off screen that needs to be handled, I'll need to save the game and quit there before I can interact, you know, before I can handle that. Uh, but otherwise, things should be fine. Hopefully. And yeah, there's also Dawn of War Winter Assault, the first of the the first of the expansion packs for Dawn of War One will be will likely be streaming that one as well, since uh, the ones after that and I just dropped something. Where the fuck did it go? Uh, the ones after that are a lot more risk-like with their gameplay and not uh, not that they don't have directed campaigns. Um, 
So yeah, once we are done with Winter Assault, if I don't get stuck on it, because I've heard that it is pretty tough, uh, which is why I'm doing a, play thrust, you know, a test playthrough of it, to see if it is that tough or not. Uh, yeah, after rest. <laughs> After uh, Dawn, after Winter Assault, we will be moving on to Dawn of War 2 and its expansions, technically expansions. I'm unsure if we would be streaming Dawn of War 3, because I have not heard good about that. Yeah, I think I heard that people... Like, I see some gameplay of it, it looked cool, but does it feel like something was off? Yeah, one uh, one way I've heard it described by people is that it feels way too arcadey, like uh, things move way too fast and way too goofily. Like it's it's not to not to, to say well it's it's grim dark, so of course it's going to be serious, but it doesn't take itself seriously from what I've heard. Yeah, it's grim dark, but that was also many things you could see as dark comedy. Especially when you think about the orcs. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see about that when we get there. So for now, I'm putting Dawn of War 3 as a no, but if it goes on sale, I'll put it up as a maybe. Hmm. For now, though, let's start that raid. Okay, not been blocked. And well, yeah. Uh, thank you all again for watching. And, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Watch out for sleepy sheeps. Yelping over your head.